G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my very own Christmas trifle. Now this is just how I like to make it, so you might have your own way, but I really like this way, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's go. I get a container and get strawberry, raspberry, one of the red jellies or jellos. Pour it in, just follow the packet. Now this is done, get the bowl that you're going to put the trifle in. Now make sure you've got a good sized bowl. Now get a bunch of different berries, I like to use pitted cherries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, stuff like that. Put them in the base of the bowl. Now get this, pour it in. Now put this in the fridge to set. You can put it in the freezer if you want to speed that process up, but in the fridge could take four hours. In the freezer you could reduce this to one and a half to two hours. Now do the same with a green one of Jello, just and then just set this aside. We want this to start to set just very slightly. Now what you want to do is bake a cake. You can buy a packet cake or whatever or just buy sponge cake or you just make one from scratch like I did. Let it set. Once it's cool just cut it up into pieces whatever size you want to put in the uh, trifle. Now normally people put that as the base in a trifle but for me I prefer the jello as the base. Alright once that's broken up and the jello part the first layer has set then we're just going to chuck this in it. And I'll just get chunks of the cake or whatever you're going to use. This may not be a traditional trifle, but this is how I make a trifle. Then pour anywhere from a quarter to a half a cup roughly of sweet sherry over it. Then I pour over vanilla custard. Now it's entirely up to you how much. I like to put in about a litre. Now I get some different types of fruits and berries and about a cup and just sprinkle it over the top. Now we'll just put this in the fridge while the green jello is setting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some thickened cream or whipping cream and beat that and then by the time that is done this and the jello should be ready. Okay now get the green jello that's it hasn't set but it's starting to get slightly gluggy and just pour that straight over. Yum. Now just put this in the fridge or freezer so it sets properly. Just from this point, another 30 minutes in the freezer or 45 minutes in the fridge should be enough. Right, now that that is pretty much set, get the whipped cream that you've whipped and put it in. Now, however much cream you want to use is fine. Anywhere between 300 and 600 mils is probably good. Now decorate on top with whatever you like. I like to put a bunch of uh, blueberries just around and then maybe some strawberries. Well 
Well, I hope you like this. <laughs> Layers with the fruit, the custard with the cake and sherry, another layer, cream and oh. This is awesome. Now this will feed about 87,000 people, I'd say. <laughs> Just kidding, it'll serve a lot. Now I'm taking this to Christmas, so I won't be diving into it just yet, but rest assured, when I take it to the place that I'm going to, face first, you can count on it. I'll see you next time for my next meal.